A secret review into the Liberal Party's election defeat is expected to warn state divisions no longer represent modern Australia. Our senior political reporter Trudy McIntosh has more on the post-campaign, the campaign post-mortem. More than six months after the election, the Liberal Party review is expected to paint a scathing picture of the campaign under former Prime Minister Scott Morrison back in May. The report, conducted by Liberal Senator Jane Hume and former party director Brian Lochnane, is yet to be released publicly, but key findings have already been leaked. The Australian reports the review is scathing of the party's state divisions, claiming they don't represent modern Australia. It also takes aim at factional infighting, something that was on full display in New South Wales, where that warfare led to the farcical situation where the party didn't have pre-selected candidates in the lead-up to the campaign being called. That included in crucial seats that the Liberals would fail to hold, including North Sydney and Bennelong, and also seats it failed to flip, Eden Monero, Parramatta and Moringa. One New South Wales Liberal has told Sky News it's not the factions to blame, instead pointing the finger at Scott Morrison and Alex Hawke's role in the hold-up. The report will recommend that the Liberals better reflect the community. It's likely to call for targets rather than quotas to pre-select more women. If we are to win at the next election, we have to change the culture immediately. It's going to require each of our state and territory divisions to look carefully at their pre-selection processes and how they achieve that outcome. The tough task of rebuilding is now in Peter Dutton's hands and charting the policy path back to victory may prove a challenge. In May, the Liberals lost 10 seats to Labor, six seats across the country to cashed up Teal Independence and two seats to the Greens in Brisbane. Sky News understands the Liberal Party post-mortem is in its final stages. Once complete, it will be handed to the party's federal executive. A source close to Peter Dutton has told Sky News the report will be released publicly this week.